So I have a short message for you today, but it's a very important message. And that message is, it's time for you to fact check your fear and start moving forward. Let's talk about it. This is Looking For My Fit. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Looking for My Fit podcast. My name is Jamika, but please, please, please feel free to call me Meat because, you know, the people I know and love, that's what they call me. So, y'all, today I got my own reminder, which was you have got to start fact checking this fear and not letting it take over and have its way. Most of you may not know this, but I was an English teacher prior to jumping into everything that I'm doing now. And one of the things, you know, I would often have to tell my students, especially if we were reading a novel and I had to ask them to make an inference, I would say, so the, the text might not implicitly be saying this, but you know, it, it, you know that something is so right so tell me what your thoughts are or tell me you know something about this character give me a characteristic of this character that while they don't outright say it in the text that you know that this is a part of this character's personality and when they tell me whatever that characteristic is you know they were then challenged to back it up what evidence do you have to support the answer that you've given right We need to use that same thing with ourselves when we are feeling fear and don't want to move forward. So for myself, I've been working on a project um, for something that has been on my heart for a little over a year. And I just, I put it off for so long, but fear was definitely getting the best of me. Well, finally I was able to, you know, knock the fear back just a little bit for me to get started um, towards actively pursuing this dream and y'all fear is a mofo that thing will hang on to you and tell you all kinds of lies and in order for me to continue to move forward I have to fact check the fear meaning what evidence do I have to support the things that fear tries to make me believe Fear will try to make you believe that you're not qualified. Fear will try to make you believe that it won't work, that you can't have an impact, that, you know, no one will care or participate in whatever it is that you're about to do. And you sometimes have to say, well, look, what's the evidence to support these things that fear is trying to make me believe? I definitely been going through that. Even though I was taking steps forward, there would be times where I was like paralyzed with fear and unable to move forward or on the days when I would have a list of the things that I needed to be working on. It just felt like I couldn't get my thoughts together. I'd be working on one thing, but couldn't get it to completion because I was thinking about another thing. And all of that, y'all, is, is, is just the result of the fear. So today... As I'm getting in my car, I was leaving the live studios from doing a live stream workout. And I said, okay, God, let's do this. Like today is going to be the day. I'm going to be productive. I'm not going to let fear get the best of me. And as I am driving to the gym, y'all, I'm not even lying. I'm talking out loud to myself. And I was like, you know, I need some, I need, I need something to get me pumped up. I need something to, you know, feed my soul while I'm lifting. What am I going to listen to? And I was like, ah, you know, maybe I can check on YouTube to see if there's something from channels I'm subscribed to that I may want to listen to, or I can find an episode of podcast because I'm way behind on all my podcasts. Well, y'all, I lied to you not. The minute I had that thought, I don't have a reason to lie to y'all. The minute I had that thought, my phone, bring. I glance at my phone and I only glance because I am a safe driver and I do not text and drive. But I can see that my friend Patrice, who has been on the podcast before, PBJ, I believe that was episode 32, 33, Boundaries Before Burnout. Well, she sent me her most recent episode of her of her podcast, Heart Work with PBJ. It is episode number 56 and it's called, um, give me a second, I don't even want to guess at that. The episode is how do I find my purpose? So she sends me that. 
um, to listen to. Well, when I finally make it to the gym parking lot, I grab my phone to see what she sent. And underneath this, she said, at like the 15 minute mark, I want you to listen because I'm talking about you. So initially, while I had planned on listening to it while I was lifting weights today, I'm so glad I didn't because I would have been a mess in the gym. People would have been asking me what was wrong. I sat in the car and listened to the whole episode before I went into the gym. And y'all, I was bawling and I ended up sending her voice notes that were very teary that I was hoping that she would be able to understand because in this episode uh, she was talking about me and the gift that she sees that I have and it was just a huge God wink for me at the right time you know I think it's much like looking in a mirror or seeing a picture of yourself right when we were younger, my brother and I, <laughs> I remember, uh, I think it was one of my parents jokingly said to my brother, like, every time you walk past a mirror, you're looking in it. And he said, well, I don't get to see myself that often. <laughs> Which I thought was hilarious because it's so true. We don't really get to see ourselves that often and while that is true for like physically because we can only see ourselves in a mirror or you know in a video or in a picture we don't really get to see ourselves the way that others see us and the same thing can be true for our character meaning you most of us are operating in our gifts naturally and because it is just a part of who we are we often don't see the magnificence of what it is that we have within us whereas other people who are on the outside looking in can see it all and they see it in a totally different way so as I listened to her describe me it was just y'all that hit me in the gut in the best way possible and it was just a confirmation that what I'm working on and what I'm trying to do is exactly what I'm supposed to be <clears throat> excuse me working on and it was also a reminder as I listened to all of these great things that she said and y'all I'm not saying that you always have to have somebody that you know has to tell you how great you are every day I also wouldn't be mad at that <laughs> but you know sometimes it helps for us to see or to have someone you know really point out great things in you because sometimes we won't see it it was just the confirmation that I needed like girl you have really over thought a lot of things and you don't have any evidence to back up the fears that creep in you know there's the fear because it's something that I'm working on by myself for now like can you carry this alone you won't be able to carry this alone fact check that I don't have anything to back that up I've taught you know classes if I can teach middle school I feel like I can teach and do anything I've led professional development sessions for whole you know for a whole entire staff at school on a regular and weekly basis i am fully capable of doing what it is that i'm trying to work on right now so that fear telling me like you you can't do this on your own yes i can I, there's i don't have anything to back up that that is true no that i won't be able to have impact i don't have anything to back that up y'all or that i'm not qualified i don't have any facts to back that up and if right now you are fact checking and you are thinking about using a previous failure or something you felt like you weren't able to do to justify you not trying right now don't do that failure is just a lesson that was learned it is not indicative of how things will go for you in the future. It means you tried something and that particular thing didn't work. And it's time for us to really dig deep and see what happened and why it didn't work and use that as an opportunity to not make that same mistake again, but to step forward even stronger. There is no shame in something not working out. It's a lesson. Everything is a lesson. So don't use prior failures as a reason to think that right now, the next thing that you work on is gonna be a failure. No, you've learned lessons along the way. And this next thing could be a huge success, but you won't know unless you do it. Really and truly, there is no way to know whether or not something will work without you doing it to see if it does. So the next time, those fears try to get the best of you I need you to go and find the evidence and failure is not your evidence I need you to go ahead and back up whatever fear is trying to tell you and I can almost guarantee you that there won't be any evidence to back that up so y'all it's time to 
put that to the side and go ahead and move forward in what it is that you want to do. Y'all don't, don't keep pushing it off. The time to do it is now. And I often tell you, like, if you needed a sign, this is it. Well, here's another one. The time to do it is now. It is time to move forward. It is time to go and be great. Okay. All right, guys. Well, until next time, uh, let's keep pushing forward together. I'll see you all on the next episode. Bye. Listen, I can't have you all missing out on episodes. I appreciate you all being here and I want you to stay here. So before you leave, go ahead, click that subscribe button. So you'll be the first to know when the next episode drops. I'll see y'all then.